a small mountain country sustained by iron, Madriu Perafita Claror Valley. The Pyrenees Mountains lie on the border between France and Spain. In a valley is the Principality of Andorra, a small country surrounded by 2,000 metre high mountains. Andorra is about half the size of New York City in the United States and about 75,000 people live there. A cluster of small countries existed in the Pyrenees in the Middle Ages. As France and Spain expanded their respective territories, Andorra was shared between them. It's curious that a dynamic city like this should grow up in the middle of such a mountainous area. In fact, it owes its development to ironworks 10 kilometres away. In the valley of Madriu, the remains of 17th century ironworks are dotted along the river that carries snowmelt water from the Pyrenees. Large volumes of iron ore were mined in the valley at that time. Iron production was strong and iron exports made Andorra wealthy. An ironworks museum presents the techniques that were used back then. The ironworks in the mountain areas relied on the power of nature. Water running through the valley was harnessed to power the facility. Water wheels were used to operate an iron hammer 24 hours a day. And iron making was a suitable industry for a mountainous country like Andorra. However, starting in the second half of the 18th century, Andorra's iron industry began to decline as neighbouring countries built their own modern ironworks. In the 20th century, Andorra chose another way to develop its economy. It became a tax haven where low tax rates attracted businesses and no tax attracted individuals. So today Andorra is an internationally recognised principality which has grown out of a small iron-making country nestled in the Pyrenees Mountains. <laughs>